Biohazard warning. Entering contaminated zone. Transmissions jammed. Proximity coverage only. Backup activated. System rebooted. What's up, nation? Your boy Sly here with a very late weapon restock guide. First up, super sorry about how late this video is. With all the Destiny stuff coming out, and then E3 things, I mean, I totally forgot all about it. Even with a calendar alarm telling me that I had to do it in the morning. So, better late than never, but nonetheless, we're not missing much once again. Either way, I want to stay up to date on all my videos, so let's get this bad boy underway. As usual, we're going to get our asses upstairs and check out the special equipment vendor and see what's going on for this week. Alright, let's take a look. And take a look at that, an ACR. Now, I know a few of you out there have been looking for this bad boy. And take a look at that headshot damage on the Historian, man. I like it, I like it. Like I said before, the Historian... It's not that great, but it is far from a Brad Marksman's rifle. I used a 163 God rolled M1A, and I went to this, and it was definitely a huge improvement. So take that for what it's worth, but if you don't have a 204 Marksman rifle, I wouldn't hesitate to get this until that God roll comes along. All right, well, let's quickly go over everything here real fast, and then I'll get to these perks or the talents. First up, the Historian M1A, 204 gear score and 875 Phoenix credits. Next, a Tactical ACR, also a 204 for 927 Phoenix credits, and our last 204 weapon, the Police MK17. This will set you back 880 credits. Our 182 weapon for the week is a sidearm, and it's not even worth mentioning because they've already sold a few 204 sidearms by now, so why downgrade? Besides, a high-end sidearm these days is not that hard to find as it used to be, so I'm sure you've seen better out there in the field. So our first 204 armor piece is an Operator's Backpack. 543 credits, it's sub-600 in skill power, but it does have a good talent of Specialized, if you're looking for a textile backpack in a 321 setup. For the tech builds out there missing a backpack, this isn't a bad place to start, actually. Our next 204 is an Operator's Holster for 380 Phoenix credits. It does have all three stats, which is definitely what you want to have for a holster. Stamina is over 600, and the rest are pretty damn close to it. It's got 5% leak protection and 9% sticky bomb damage, which is actually pretty decent. Now back to these weapons. By the way, both 191 gear sets aren't worth mentioning at all, and while they would work as a fill-in until you get another set piece, they're going to drastically hurt your stats, so I didn't even mention them this time around. They are pretty much doo-doo unless you're a fresh level 30. Alright, so the Historian, 168% headshot damage. This is the highest we've seen since its debut a few weeks ago. 300 rounds per minute with 10 in the mag, unmodded of course, same town as always, and like I said earlier, a 204 M1A is never a bad rifle, period. I'm using it until I find my god roll, and it suits me perfectly fine. Next, the Tactical ACR, around 8800 damage, 760 rounds per minute with 30 in the mag, unmodded. Great accuracy, great reload, good range, and decent stability. The ACR is actually one of the better auto rifles out there. However, the talents kind of let this thing down a bit. It has balance, which have, would have been great like a month ago, but sadly, it's more suited towards bolt-action rifles these days. Nonetheless, your first trigger pull from aiming will be on point, so it's definitely not worthless, but sadly, not backed up by much else. We have Provident, the last bullet extra damage thing, and then Swift, which is faster reload. All in all, an average AR, and if you have a 182 ACR with Beast perks on it, I'm willing to bet that that would be just as good as this. To me, it's not worth almost a thousand Phoenix credits. However, if an AR is what you've been using the entire time from the start, then it may be worth your while. However, I wouldn't recommend it just because of its cost. And finally, our last weapon here at the Boo, the Police MK17, Mark 17, however you say it, 158% headshot damage, which really isn't all that bad for a 204, considering recently they've been very, very low. However, it has relatively low damage in comparison to other marksman rifles out there. Lower RPM at 275 rounds per minute with 20 in the magazine unmodded. Great accuracy though, decent reload, great range, decent stability, but the talents, they just don't help its cause, guys. Restored, unforgiving, and meticulous. There really isn't any sniper rifle rolls on here that help with handling or headshot damage. Why go for this when an M1A that can give you like 19 bullets at a faster rate of fire with more stability and twice as much damage. I mean, to me, it's no-brainer, guys, and a definite pass. All right, agents. Well, we're done here. Let's head over to the DZ, and just want to give you guys a quick heads up. Apparently, blueprints 
no longer rotate. I thought maybe it was like a coincidence last time, but you'll see that here in a second. Also, looking at this right here, this doesn't help either, guys. Two pretty much identical weapons. Nonetheless, it's the worst archetype in the game currently, and while I keep scrolling down hoping blueprints would help me out, I find out that they are no longer rotating, or at least RNG is a cruel beast, and we landed on the same two blueprints three weeks in a row, which is kind of doubtful. So at this point, guys, if you want to switch to another video, I, t I totally don't blame you, man. But anyway, let's take a look just for the sake of looking. First, our 182 weapon, a SOCOM SCAR-L. Also one of the better ARs in the game. It has higher damage than the 204 ACR back at the base. 60,000 DZ dollars and a rank of 40 to buy it. Damage does depend on your total firearms, and for me, it's 10.3 thousand, 625 rounds per minute with 30 in the magazine, unmodded, great accuracy, reload speed, and range with above average stability. However, talents set this thing back once again. We have adept, dominant, and sustained. Not the best AR, it's still a scar, but another pass, guys. So next, let's move on to our two M60s. So the 204 Black Market M60 E6 is 96,000 DZ dollars and a rank of 80 to purchase around 9,400 damage, 500 rounds per minute with 100 in the magazine unmodded. Great accuracy, but that's because of a talent, super shitty reload speed, insane range, and okay stability. Talents are self-preserved, which isn't bad on an SMG, but an LMG? Uh, that's a different story. Then we have Dominant, and finally Accurate, which is an awesome perk to me and my new Balanced. Now, of course, nothing is going to beat a broken Balanced talent, but Accurate is not a bad option. It allows your grouping to stay tighter after longer constant fire, and it's tighter right off the hip. And our second M60 is also 204, and it's an M60E4, around 96,000 DZ dollars also, almost 10,000 damage, and at the same rounds per minute with the same magazine size. Less accurate, same range, and everything else, but with higher damage, and that's due to a brutal perk. Other than that, it has dominant and restored. Again, you're not missing out here either. And of course, the blueprints, another lead down unless you're fighting to get that M44. But all in all, guys, another crusty week. I hate to say it. Sorry if I gave it bad juju for putting this video up late. But next week, man, next week, I'm going to be on it. I'll lift the curse and we'll be back to the good old days. But that's it, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. And stick around for more videos incoming this week. Here's hoping for some Division Underground expansion gameplay at E3. And if it does, I'll be breaking down all the news if any decides to pop out. So keep an eye on Sly Nation. But until then, this is your boy Sly. Done. Gone. Out. Zone B secure.